is not a, a voiceover competition at all. Bring <laughs> Have you seen that video? <laughs> what? Oh man, I'm gonna show it to you later. Okay. It's like it's like you know Yoshi's bring when he does his down B, yeah. except it slowly gets pitched down wow. until finally they show this horrifying animation of like Dorito chin Yoshi. That's not, you gotta show me that. That sounds so I'm, weird. I'm gonna show I'll show it to you later, don't worry. In the meantime, uh, we do have the bring ha Yoshi and Palutena against Peach and Pac-Man. Nice variety of characters here. We've been seeing a lot of, you know, double teams uh, past few games. So this time around, really cool to see this. Um, now, I honestly think that Yoshi does pretty well against both of these characters. And I'm pretty sure that Palutena also does fairly well, especially against Pac-Man, I believe. Yes, it's specific, I'm glad you brought it up because what Paolo can do is, like, he can, she can make it harder for a Pac-Man to set up because her long-range options can be disrupted. He always has to look out for that. And Yoshi, with the air mobility and the eggs, can go over the Hydra and mess with them safely. That's really going to be the key there. You cannot let Red Team, with the way they are built, you cannot let them get time to set up anything. You do that, you can, you can maintain the lead on them. I'm liking the way Suarez is utilizing neutral air, although he's utilizing quite a bit. Wow! <laughs> I can't believe that neutral beat missed from Suarez. But uh, as it stands, pretty good position for blue team. Uh, especially if they can close out some deep stock right here. Oh! I think go for up smash. Yeah, they reached. wouldn't have reached in that situation, it looks yeah. like. If Shinji doesn't go for an option, it's probably because he's right not to go for it. Yeah, he just knows right. this character so well. Yeah, too well. Like, oh, you're getting killed for that. No? Okay. Now, watch what happens with Shinji at high percent. He usually tends to go for the ledges and jump off stages to safely charge his fruit and stuff like that. Loose the stock right there. 137, though, is a lot of damage that he was able to survive off of. And now, as you can see, his Ling Ling is kind of the target. He's the only one here at kill percent, so it feels like, actually, I'm surprised that Yoshi is the one who's trying to focus down on Ling, considering that in terms of kill power, I'd say Palutena is a bit more consistent. Um, but perhaps it might just be that Palu would rather be fighting Pac-Man anyway. Oh, that was a nice combination there by Red Team. They kind of bullied the Blue Team in the middle there, had him sandwiched for a second. All right, Pac-Man offstage trying to look for a safe way to get back. Palutena looking for the punishes. Nice save by Ling Ling. Palutena tries to get back to the up air. No good. Pac back air puts it back. But Suarez, get off my friend. Ooh, nice combo. Yeah, and that was actually a really good recognition from Suarez. Going for that back air, finally when uh, Ling Ling committed to the float. Because yeah. she cannot air dodge when she's floating. Uh, so the window for him to play around that back air was so small. Yeah, definitely. Earlier, Sinji just got a bell kill with the F smash. It's so difficult to decide when to approach the shield of a Pac-Man with a bell because they're going to out of shield with it. So you, you really got to make sure your spacing is really good and, and um, where you can avoid the angles up close. <laughs> All right, now Suarez has been getting a lot of kills with the, that back air of his. That booty. Oh, man. That, you saw you saw, uh, you saw Peach there with the back air just pushing him away. Everyone's just getting cleared off the stage. And if Ling Ling can close out this stock on Suarez, that will be huge. That'll basically be an even game. Uh, wow, the P actually not connecting. That was too little lag on that pally back throw. It can be so hard, especially in doubles, yeah. to know the M lag of uh, throws. Because it's something that you're never familiar with in singles. You know, like, how much lag does Palutena back throw really have? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely right on that. I think it's one of those situations where you can't really back throw if someone, if a teammate's even remotely nearby. I think there's enough lag on that. Uh-oh. Pac-Man's in trouble. Uh, Pac so he's actually pretty decent in 2v1. 77%. 77% isn't that bad. You can take some damage here. Yeah, I mean, like, if you think about his play style, that he loves to go off stage to get his trap set up. He's not really reliant on grabs, which if you're a character that relies on grabs, 2v1s can be really hard for you. Wow, he's going so deep. I agree with it. You know, that, although Paolo can recover from that far as well. Uh -oh, that's it. Putting that kind of pressure on. This fair city over here by, by uh, Suarez. And I love this, that by Sinji staying on the side here basically prevents a 2v1. Yeah. One of that, like, they can't both pressure him on the ledge and go off stage. Ooh, oh, just barely missing that. This one should do it, though. Again, oh, misses the no. up air. This could actually be huge for Sinji if he manages to survive and take out the Palu stock. There are ways for him to edge guard uh, Yoshi or just rack up enough damage to stay alive. 
No. But getting that started is actually managing that is a completely different story. He's been trapped at the ledge here. Hasn't really been able to get anything wow. onto him. Grabs the bell and actually takes Sinji out with a sour spot forward. Out. Good to realize that, you know, it's a little bit easier to, to grab items while attacking in this game. So just knowing that he's that close, he can catch the bell and still attack Sinji for using it. Uh, very intelligent by Suarez. Not only that, there. with forward air, he would always have the chance to drift like off stage if he did shield it. Yeah. We're just behind him, and it's a lot harder for Sinji to punish with Bell if he doesn't know which side the ocean's gonna end up on. Exactly. Although I guess he could throw it down, right? Uh, throw the bell down? Yeah. But yeah. First you gotta let it go out, um, throw it first, then you catch it. Once you catch it, you can throw it in any direction. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, that's right, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now, um, we saw a combo attempt uh, at, at the latter part of that game missing up the up air conversions. Where in the previous set, we just saw the Palatine just walk forward and up smash. So um, hopefully well, that seems yeah. a little bit easier to do than yeah. just to go for an up air, to be honest. Especially because I feel like there's actually a decent amount of like how much you can DI off of Yoshi back throw. Yeah. That's probably why it was missing, you know? Like going in and maybe practicing that in training mode is going to be very different when an opponent mm -hmm. can actually, you know, press the joystick up or down when they're getting hit. Yeah, definitely. So let's see what the uh, what Ling Ling and Sinji are going to adjust. One thing I noticed that from the beginning of the game, they weren't able to, the, 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 to set the pace to what they wanted. Uh, they kind of got mauled a little bit early, disrupted. They weren't allowed. To do, Sinji wasn't allowed to do Sinji things until after the first stock, really, or towards the end of the first stock. And Ling Ling was caught in the air a lot, was forced to float high to avoid pressure when he was at high percents. So let's see if they can control the ground a little bit more in the second game. Definitely, and on this same okay, so we are getting the higher ceiling of Kalos, which I agree with 100%. Yoshi likes to kill off the top. Palutena also can kill off the top with things like up air, things like up smash, which we've been seeing him getting. And, so, there's, and there's more room for Pac-Man to set up. This, this, the stage is a little bit better horizontally. You have an extra platform there. More places to escape. Wow, Pac-Man is going in right now. You saw that? That was 60% on Suarez in, like, a second. Oh, wow, nice F-Smash there. Oh, get away! Yeah, it's looking a very different game than the last one. Blue team, actually, oh! <laughs> oh, jeez. It's like one of those things where you don't plan for, but you make it work like you did. I mean, I think that's a sign of a really, especially doubles player. Because there are so many things that can happen that you weren't accounting for in doubles. Wow, that was so good from Suarez. Goes for the jab, reads the roll, and then gets down throw, uh, sorry, forward throw, forward air, up air. Uh, doesn't actually kill, though, and then it's the stage working out in red team's favor. Bell on deck. Go ahead. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, that's one of the changes to this game. Z-dropping Bell actually stuns the opponent, and as you see right there, doesn't quite take out, uh, doesn't t quite take out Jen's stock, but King dang close to it. For blue team, this Sinji stock needs to go. Yeah, Sinji's doing he's just doing a great job right now. Practically doing everything. And then, and the big difference I already see, there's a lot more hydro in the early parts of this game. There's either a lot more room or they're just not paying attention and using moves like explosive flame to deter him from doing it. And that probably means they're too focused on Ling Ling right now. Oh, nice up there by Suarez. That was a fantastic catch, and that means that Jen is still on his first stock. He's doing a great job stock tanking. And Ling Ling now approaching 86%. He can die to some things here, uh, especially, you know, a solid smash attack. Wow. But, oof. You got the bell on deck, so that means Suarez better look out. Oh, he actually hits his own teammate. Ooh. That's big. Counter does so much damage, which normally is a good thing, but uh -oh. you're comboing your teammate by accident. Ling Ling, please land! All right. <laughs> he really wanted that forward air, but Sinji was very oh. smart realizing it doesn't get hit. Back throw doesn't quite do it just yet. And that means Suarez is alive at 152%. He has a lot of rage that he could possibly use to end a, a stock early, especially oh. against Ling Ling. That was nice set up by Sinji there. Suarez trying to go for the fair, gets fared himself instead. So 180%. Ooh. 
And that's so what, many parries, but he still gets hit. That's what I want to see. Throwing them eggs from long distance from downtown. Have Palutena in the front, throw eggs from behind. Nice pressure. I love that forward throw, realizing that he grabbed him, but kind of also realizing that he didn't want to. Uh oh. He's dead. Sinji. He's dead. Oh, he was too low. And that was. And I, I think he could have side B. Oh my god. Right? I think he could have. Yeah, you're absolutely right he about that. He directionally air dodged off stage, and I guess he was afraid of, like, bonking. Well, maybe he could have side the other way. Either way, that's really bad for Red Team. Yes. They can still do this, especially if they close out this stock on Gen. Yeah, absolutely. They did such a great job in the early part of the game that like, even though they had lost those stocks the way they did, it gave them a little bit of leeway to still keep it evenish. And as blue team, you do not want to drop this and bring it to a game three purely because of how like, you can see the adaptation that red team has made. Game one was pretty dang convincing. And this time around, Sinji SDs, and it's still relatively even. Yeah. Back air pressure by Ling Ling, trying to keep blue team on the right side. But they do regain the middle. Oh, that's oh no! Huge. Doesn't quite actually end the stock right there, but that's so much wow, damage. damage. And he gets the forward Sports. air. Suarez managing to get a huge combo in the middle of this doubles match. And now Shinji is once again all by his lonesome. Yo, he went in the deep for that one. That down beat was pretty sick. But he unfortunately killed his partner instead. And that's actually really bad. Purely because of the fact that, remember last time how uh, Palutena would just stay on the covering the roll? Oh, that's not going to kill, really kill him. Yep. Oh, but he got the back air. <laughs> he got the, I mean, the throw on that. This is last shot for Shinji here. 132%, yeah. 138 and climbing. And at this point, you can have one member of the blue team go off with like a Nair or something, and, and then the other player just target um, any throw with that very sweet. Yeah, great job just yeah. getting the run-up up smash. Suarez is going to be winning that. Suarez and Jen winning the game, going to be moving on in the winner's bracket. And, uh, well, I'm curious to see how uh, Sinji and Lingling Ling will fare in losers, considering that that's they were one of the team's favorite to make it really deep. I would, yeah, definitely. I would s sort of call that an upset, except for the fact that uh, the matchup is actually pretty well in was yeah. well in blue team's favor. Like we, we saw in the second game what happened. They kind of lost their composure a little bit and lost those stocks. Other than that, they pretty much had an idea what they wanted to do to counter uh, Jen uh, and uh, uh, oh yeah yeah. So